want to put out a plug for my new uh, YouTube channel. It's called Pewaholic TV. I just put my first video out there. You guys, if you're interested in guns, gun reviews, uh, training, concealed carry, all that stuff, go check that out. I'll put the link below. Let's get to this video. What is up, guys? Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove your uh, factory housing for your fog lights. And I'm also going to show you a real quick comparison between the sea light fog lights, which are very popular, I compared it to the Diode Dynamics fog light. Guys, it's going to be a good video. Watch all the way through. Uh, one reason you may want to make this upgrade, number one, you will see a whole lot better at night, especially if you live out in the country like we do. Deer, T-Rex, Bigfoot. Deer animals, it gives you advantage. You can see what's going on beside you, around you, in front of you, sometimes behind you, which is very important when you drive. Uh, but another reason, this is what happens to just about every 13th generation F-150, that is from the year 2015 all the way to the year 2020, these lights get so hot from the halogen lights that they scar and mar the lenses on the fog light housing. And they look like this. I almost guarantee you, if you have not noticed this, go out, stop, pause the video, go out and look at your truck and it will look just like this. And it's really a shame that they let this go this long with this issue but it doesn't matter you're about to ditch that and get you some better fog lights and this video shows you what you get i'm going to also do a nighttime review compare the sea lights and the diode dynamics it's going to be a really great video so stay tuned all right guys i am about to upgrade the fog lights on sylvia and these are aftermarket leds something you would get at uh, your automotive store or possibly Amazon. All right, this is the aftermarket LEDs that were on the truck when I got it. No headlights. Just fog lights. Get a flathead, pop the side out, then go under, undo the screw, get a long flathead, and pop the side out and push it through. There's the little tab right there, and it's super easy to get it from this side rather than underneath. So go ahead and do that, and then go under and get your other side. There's the screw you need to unscrew right there, and that's the tab. As soon as you do that, you can pull the light off and put in your brand new light. To be honest, the sea lights aren't doing too bad. Okay. All right, here we got the diode dynamics on the right and the sea light on the left. Now this is with both diode dynamics installed. Can you tell the difference? Let me know. Diode dynamics, same spot. Let's go down. I'm going to show you guys some side-by-side -side pictures of the diode dynamics and the sea lights. This first one is diode dynamics, and this next one is going to be the sea light. Here's the sea light. Now these are been going down the hill. Again, diode dynamics is first, and the sea light is this next picture. Here it comes roughly the same spot. All right, this last one is a little bit closer to that tank, diodynamics, and 
sea lights. Here it comes. What do you guys think? Can y'all tell a difference? Let me know below. As always, thank you for watching. Peace out.